Hi, uh, today we will discuss about uh, transport management system in uh, SAP ABAB environment. Here we have three systems DSY development, PSY production, and QSY quality. So we, three, we have three servers running here. DSY is the seat for development, then we have QAS, then PSY. So all three servers are running, and in the QA system we have two instances and in the other systems we have one instance central instance that is 93 in the in this one we have two instances one and three cent, uh, central instance the central instance and then another instance 01 all are running so I'm going to log into the development system to I'm, I'm going to create a transport manually so I say SC09 or SC10 so I'm going to create one. It is going to be a customizing request, we assume. So I give a name and uh, I, I can assign that to a project if I have projects and I can uh, I can allocate several users under me. So if I'm a team leader and if I'm developing a, a program and the other people, other programs are developing smaller components of that program, then I can assign those usernames here. Then when they release their uh, customizing request uh, that will be assigned to my request so everything will be sent as one request released as one request so and also I have to mention the target here so I select the target here so it's going to quality system when I release this I save this so I, I have that here I will go to the operating system level so I go to the D drive, E drive, uh, USR directory, SAP, trans data. I see my request here, but today's request, the request I just created is named as uh, DSY K40, that the end 40. So there is no 40 here. It has not come here yet. So I'm going to release it. So there's a truck here, you click on the truck. So refresh, so it's releasing, so you can see at the bottom. So now it's released. So now I go to the operating system level and check whether it is there. So there it's there. So when I release from the SAP environment, it goes to the operating system. That directory is shared. This is the directory. So the other systems will have access to this. So now I'm going to go to, I'm going to reduce the size of this. I'm going to go to the quality system. I, to, to, to import this transport, I have to type a command called STMS. This is the one which is going to manage my transport in the receiving side. Then I see the truck here. Maybe I will make it bigger. So I click on the truck, I see all the systems here, I go to QSY system, then I double click on that and to see whether my request has come there, whether my request can be seen there. So I refresh here, so I got it today, this is my, this is my request. So if I wanted to import this here, so now I, I'm, I'm able to uh, accept, I, I can I mean uh, import it. So I'm importing this after highlighting that. So I had to select the client because this is a simple transport management system. Uh, I have not created anything, uh, something like extended transport management system. So I will say that uh, I have to import into this client maybe, okay, or maybe, sorry, this client. Then I say yes. So you want to import, I say yes. Now if I want, now after testing, if everything is fine, I can import the same request to the production system. So I can log into either, I can go to, go here and log into the production system and import or I can go from here. I just click on production system. Then uh, I click on, the, I refresh it. So click on this and then I can import that. Now it's asking me to log into the production system. 
PSY. So I log in there. So enter. So now I highlight that. So I can select the client. So this is how the transport management system works. Thank you very much.